Alright, so welcome back to the episode number 5 on the Minlog XD making sounds. And on this one, we are going to be doing some keys and some bells. Now remember, everything we do right here, you can go to the description and download the patches for free. And also, if you like all of this, remember to like and subscribe. And if you have the money and you want to buy me a coffee, go to the description. You have the links right there at the bottom. Right, so let's begin. So if I do exit, we are on an init program. You can go out and go in. So we are on an init program. And uh, okay, so let's we're gonna do some bells. So first, let's take care of the oscillators. Right, so I'm gonna go to the oscillator number one. We are not gonna use the oscillator number two. And the one is going to be right here on the triangle. And I'm gonna go really up in pitch all the way up. Later, we can just go down and see how a lower shape, you know, a lower range, a lower octave sounds in uh, with, with the multi-engine. But right now, I'm just going to be a triangle all the way up and all the way up on the volume. No cross mod, no sync, no rank, all the way down. Now, let's take care of the multi-engine. And I'm going to go all the way up on the multi-engine. Right here, we need to select the one we want, and it's going to be the DK, let me find it, DK2. And the DK2, it's awesome. So this is a DK2. So I can remove this so you can hear how it sounds. So we want to make some bell sounds. This sounds like a bell already. Now, we can uh, adjust the shape, and I'm going to be doing this. So let me just play a couple keys. And as soon as we go up in shape, it's gonna be. Can you see here? That just gets more cranky. Yeah. So I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna stand around 75%. Uh, you know, 60, 60 something, 65%. Later we can adjust this value. But what I want to check if uh, I want to check if the multi-engine, the the range of the multi-engine is not too low. So to do this, we need to go to the edit mode and then go right there. And right there, it's going to tell us that it's on 8. So that's fine for me. You know, by me, I'm just going to leave it on 8. So I'm going to be exiting this. And this is what we are going to be using. All the magic is going to happen right here. Right, so let's do the filter. So this is the one down. Remember, we have this one, the, the VCO1 and the multi-engine. And again, already sounds like bells. The problem is that the uh, this uh, the the amp EG uh, is not in the right in the right position. We have no release, no tail, no nothing. So attack all the way down, decay all the way down, sustain all the way up. Uh, but I'm gonna go to release and do uh, almost fifty percent. So once we do so. So there you go, you know, super easy. Now the filter, this one, I'm gonna keep it all the way up. And if you want, and this is completely up to you, it depends on what you want to do, uh, change the key track. Now, and this fine, in this case, I'm gonna keep it right here, but it doesn't matter because the key, the cutoff is all the way up. So, you know, if you do some cut of frequencies a little bit, a little bit, you might want to use it. But in this case, you know, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to go all the way up. You can try a little bit with drive. All right? If you like it, you can keep it. I'm not going to be using it. And that's it. We are not going to even use the uh, intensity, uh, you know, the, the mod EG. Right? So just super simple. Now, we need to take care of the effects and add a little bit of something because it sounds, it's, it sounds uh, super dull. So the only thing I'm going to do... I'm going to be adding some reverb. I'm going to go up and up and up and up. And, then, and right here, you can choose uh, the reverb that you want. I like the space one that it has a nice modulated tail. Now, as soon as I uh, play something. It's just giving us what we need. Maybe it's just a little bit too aggressive. So I'm going to go down a little bit on the time. I'm going to go up on the depth, but I'm going to do shift and go down on the dry and the wet. So the dry and the wet is, is right here, but the depth is about here. So now... See, so if I go all the way down on this one... 
This is just a lot darker. And if I go all the way up, it's much brighter because, you know, this one gets uh, really cranky. So I'm gonna, again, leave it where it was. Right, so that's gonna be the final patch. Now, if you wanted to, you can go to the mod and maybe do a little bit of ensemble. Right, I kinda like it, you know. Alright, so maybe if you like it, uh, I'm gonna leave it just the way it is. Um, you don't have to use the course. I believe uh, that just with the reverb, it's just more than enough. So right here on this patch, uh, all the magic is happening on the DK2. How useful is the uh, is the multi-engine for us? If we were just using uh, the oscillator one, it's just gonna sound... It's gonna sound like that, so we are missing, you know, we are missing a lot. Now, another thing that we can try is go to the oscillator number one, number one, go down in range. So maybe if I do something like that and go down, it's gonna cha change, whoop, it's gonna change the timbre, right? So this is completely how different it sounds. Just a tiny little change and everything changes. I'm still gonna keep it up Keep it all the way up, because this is the vibe I want for this patch. So let's break it down. Uh, let's do some keys. So uh, remember, always starting from this, and uh, still, you know, we always start from a default patch, like this one, right? So let's take care of the oscillators. Uh, everything is going to be up. I'm going to use the uh, one, number one, for now, and I'm going to be going to uh, square right here, and the octave we are going to be going to the second one. Now, the sync is going to be off, the ring is going to be off. I'm still going to go to the second oscillator, going to bring it around the same vo volume, and it's still going to go to a uh, square. And for now, I'm just going to keep it on the same, on the same, uh, on the same range. And what we can do, we can just spread the uh, oscillators, you know, the pitch, uh, the fine tuning a little bit. So it sounds like that, right? We are just uh, spreading the oscillator one and the two. Now still, uh, they sound, they really sound the same. So I want to go to the shape and just modify this and see if we get something else in return. You know, we are getting something else in return and I'm gonna keep it around there. If I go all the way down, is that, I want a little bit more bite. All right, so let's see what happens if we use a cross mod. That's just too much, so I'm gonna be doing, there we go, I'm gonna do it like that, you know, like 25%, something like that. Alright, it sounds cool, still, we need to do a lot more work, so I'm gonna bring the uh, multi-engine, and I'm gonna stand around, I don't know, let's do go up first, and I'm gonna go down on the, this ones, and let's work with this, I'm gonna go down, and then go up, and I'm gonna be using the... I'm gonna use this one, why not? So if I play it, it's gonna sound pretty dull because it's just a sine wave. So, right here, I'm gonna go up in shape. And instantly you're gonna get some grit, some magic. I believe that about 6... no, 40? Sounds cool. Now let's bring the other ones. I'm gonna do less of this, like that, and I'm gonna bring the other ones right there and try to get a good you know a wall sound not wall sound but something that sounds with more attitude right so that's fine now okay so let's see what else we what else we can do right so i'm gonna go to the cutoff 
I'm gonna do around 60%, but I'm gonna go up in resonance. I'm gonna go to key tracking and do 50%. Um, for now, I'm gonna keep the drive all the way down, uh, but I'm gonna, you know, let's see how it sounds, this, you know, how this sounds. And I believe that's fine, but you know, we need to do effects and we are gonna need to do the EG, you know, uh, mo modulate the cutoff. So let's uh, fix the problem that we have right now with the envelopes. I'm gonna do a little bit of attack. I'm gonna go to all sustain all the way up, but we can check how it sounds, uh, maybe with less sustain, more decay. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna go up on the release like 55%. It will all already sound like it, you know, some keys. And all the difference of the release. Right. So I believe, I believe that's fine. Now, if what happens if we do more decay and a little bit less? Let's see how it sounds. Oh, made a mistake. Sounds, in this case, pretty much the same. If we sustain it. You know what? I want to sustain it. If I sustain it, I want for this to, you know, to keep bringing, to keep playing. All right. So we could use this as keys or pads. Now, we need to do the EG end because right now it sounds super dark. So I'm gonna go right there, make sure that this is on the cutoff side of things. And I'm gonna be doing uh, something pretty aggressive right here. And I'm gonna go up on the decay and around there. Let's see how it sounds. A lot brighter. And when I sustain it, notice that it goes down because we are going maybe from here. And now we need to make a decision, and this is completely up to you. When it goes down after the decay, where you want to stay? You want to stay dark or you want to stay brighter? I believe I'm just gonna stay darker. Yeah, way darker. Right, I can like it. It's a little, you know, maybe it's just too bright. You can stay around there. So I'm gonna go to pitch right here, do maybe a little bit of rage, and then we can check it out. Uh, standing on a triangle and do a little bit of pitch detuning. That is just uh, too super slow, like sick. Gonna go faster and a little bit less intensity. And just to get a little bit. Now, I'm gonna do less cutoff, more intensity. I want it to go down, less cutoff. So I like it. Now maybe a little bit more resonance. Let's see what happens. Much better. Now if you want a sweep at the beginning, you need to add more attack. I like, you know, maybe a little bit like 10%, something like that. Okay, so I believe, I believe that this sounds fine. Now, we are missing the effects right here. All right, so let's go heavy on this one. Uh, I'm gonna go first to the mod, make sure that the mod is on, and I'm gonna be doing uh, a flanger. You know, we didn't, we never used a flanger so far, I guess. So as soon as I do it, now, if you go hold the shift, you can decide which type of flanger. Uh, I'm gonna be uh, doing a stereo, you know, the normal one. I'm gonna go down on the time, maybe a little bit down on the on the uh, depth. I again, sounds fine. It needs a little bit more effects, just to make it sound a little bit more vintage, let's say. So I'm gonna go to the reverb, turn it off, turn it back on, and you know what? I'm gonna go to the delay first and turn the reverb off, turn it back on, go to the delay, then turn it on. And I guess that there we go, turn it on. And uh, which type of delay? Now, if you want to make it sound vintage, maybe a tape delay will do the, uh, the trick. 
Yeah, totally. Uh, I'm gonna stay on time around. Alright, so I guess that's fine. I'm gonna go up on the feedback. This is the feedback. Now, it's way too much. I'm gonna go shift and less on the mix. Right? Alright. Okay, so let's keep moving forward. I believe that's fine. I'm gonna go to the reverb and this is just gonna, you know, make things better. I'm gonna go to the hall that we have right here at some point, that one. And I'm gonna play something. Now, I'm gonna affect the time, maybe shorter, more depth. And on the dry and the wet, if we go all the way up, Eh, maybe 50%. Still, I, be I believe this is way too bright. I want to make it darker. Ah, I like it there. Alright, so... Oh, sorry for that. What I want to do is that when I play, I want to hear, I'm gonna go all the way down on the attack. My problem right now is the EG int. So if I play it, at the end, when I sustain it, I want to use that, I want to hear that. And that's part, you know, in part the resonance and the EG int. So if I do less, no, it's not giving me what I want. I'm gonna go up. There we go. A little bit better. Now, I wonder what happens if we use the other reverbs. Let's just check the, uh, you know, the more aggressive ones. Like the riser? Submarine? Oh, let's see the submarine. It's way too much, right? Oh, sorry for that. So I'm in a weird position. I'm sitting, my, my head is right here. So I'm like the, on a weird, very weird position, that's why I'm always missing the keys. I like this one. It's a little bit too aggressive, but you can change it if you want. Okay, I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it. This is gonna be my final patch. Okay, so that's it. Remember, you can download the patches from the description. And this is the episode five, so... Uh, at this point, you should have like 10 patches or something like that. Um, okay, so hopefully you liked all of this. Remember to like and subscribe. And if you have the money and you want to buy me a coffee just to say thanks, you can go to the links at the description. And you have uh, PayPal, you have YouTube, thanks. And you have Patreon. Maybe you can be a one-month patron. Why not? All right, so see you on the next one.